Hey everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. A little bit different start today. I am in the car. I have just left work and I am on my way to an Asda uh, in Stainforth in Doncaster. Um, reason being is we sometimes take part in beer challenges and Scotton Wonders World ha usually set these challenges and Wanda has set this one which is to buy um, £10 worth of beers from and Asda. Uh, we've done a couple of these before, we've done Tesco's, we've done, uh, Tesco's Morrison's and a bottle shop. So it's uh, the turn of Asda. Um, now my local Asda's are rubbish where I live. So I wanted to come and try a completely different one that I've never been to before. See if they have any different beers in. You never know. So I'm away now. When we get there we'll see what we've got and see if they are different and what we can get for £10. See in a bit. Yeah, this might be an epic fail because it actually looks like it's quite a small store. So we'll see what beers do. See inside. Feel, fears are realised and it is a very, very small section of beers. But this is the challenge. This is the challenge. This is what people have to put up with. So this is our challenge. Right, let's see what we can get. Hi everybody, here we are back in the Alehouse then. So let's see what I got from Asda. I paid £8.65 £8.65 and I think I've done quite well um, well not so good if I'm being brutally honest but I wanted to try it so I've got it um, right so let's see what we got so first of all I've got this from Bath Ales which is their Amber Ale uh, I'm trying to think which is it the Lansdowne which I've had before of theirs which was a gorgeous ale so looking forward to that that cost me £1.80 um, Maximus Strong Premium Beer by Double Maxim Beer Company, based in Durham. I don't know what they are there. I've had their, um, which I think is a really good find actually down here in Yorkshire. Um, I've had their brown ale before, which was a lovely brown ale. I think it's a brown ale, isn't it? The Double Maxim, which I, th I think it's one of my favourite brown ale so far. It was a lovely one. Better than Newcastle Brown Ale. That cost me £1.85. Then I got the. I've got this, which I can't believe I've not reviewed um, on screen before. I've had it. I've only ever had it once, to be fair, which is the uh, Duval, uh, which is a Belgian strong blonde. So I should have been saying what I'm coming at. That is 4.8%, 6%. And 8.5 percent, and that one cost me two pounds ten. Then I got uh, this one, which again I think I've had that in cans. I may I may review that on cans. I can't remember which is the uh, the bass uh, bass beer, 4.4 uh, percent ABV. Looking forward to that. Then I got the, uh, so, oh, so that cost me £1.40, then I got this for £2.40, which is the Brewdog Pump IPA, which I have reviewed before, I'm sure I've reviewed that before, but I have got the um, Aldi version of that, so I just wanted to try that again before I add that Aldi version. Um, and if you, you'll probably see why when I actually don't review the Aldi one as to why I wanted to do that. Um, so that brew dog cost me £2.40. And then I got a can, a can. Then I got a pack of four bitters. These are as the zone. Um, and they cost me for four. So four, four 40 mils. Uh, 90p for those. Um, but they are only 2% ABV so but but in my defense um, I like reviewing beers uh, and I kind of wanted to show I suppose if you're on that sort of budget what is it like is it is it okay um, those sorts of things so it's kind of it's not always about and, and I think the challenge is about not always having to buy the most expensive beers to enjoy a beer or have a good beer 
because I have a suspicion that 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 has the one. You know, if it's I know it's only a two percent ABV, but if it's got enough flavour in there, why not? It should be it should be it could be fairly satisfying, but we'll soon see. So that's it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically, nine beers there for what did I say? £8.65. So it's less than a pound a beer on average, which if decent is absolutely cracking value. So um yeah, so these will be the probably the next ones I'll review because I'm looking forward to trying these out. Um yeah, so subscribe if you haven't already, click the little bell icon um to get instant notifications of when these are done. Um if you like this video, uh, consider sharing it, commenting, all that good stuff. Until the next reviews. Cheers everybody.